Hey guys, it's day 16 and this is the best weather has been since I've started this thing. No gloves. <laughs> On the way here, I've been reflecting about this word the same. I was at a gathering the other day and someone said they've seen my videos and I don't speak the same as my sister. And um, this word the same, it's a dangerous word that I've realised. I mean, it's very unconscious and the person certainly didn't mean any harm. And it's weird, isn't it? Because for many years, I remember it used to bother me and I used to try to speak more street, to fit in, to be accepted. And it took some time before I owned it. I just thought, you know what, Ingrid, this is it. This is who I am, so I speak. If I don't like it, lump it. Um, like, don't speak to me, <laughs> if that's the case. But we do, we spend so much time, don't we, trying to be the same. And women have this a lot as well, where they call it the tiara syndrome, where they'll be at work, and they want to fit and they want to be the same and they want the boss to come along and place a tiara on their head and say hey you have the promotion and it's like i describe it like a green grocers it's like going into a green grocers and there's a bunch of green apples all green apples in the green grocers and you want to be spotted amongst one of those green apples you're not prepared to be the red apple that you are because the red apple is going to stand out amongst the green apples but we live in this world that keeps telling us that we need to be the same, so we oppress our uniqueness. We oppress and suppress all what's unique and individual about us. We all, despite coming from the same mother and father or what have you, we all have individual fingerprints. We are individuals, individual hopes, individual fears, individual dreams. And it's this kind of thing of sameness where stereotyping comes from, where people say, well, you're black, so you must speak like this, or you're a woman and you must be like this. Well, it's nonsense. They're big fat labels that society whacks on our forehead and that once again strips individuality. So, um, no, it really is about owning that and I know that is difficult because we live in the world that talks about being the same we've all got to be in the same bucket and the moment you do try to step out unconsciously we try to shame each other back into that bucket again that no no we've got to fit in so same isn't cool <laughs> that's my message for day 16 anyway fun day and um meet you back at the stairs must admit guys I'm only halfway through and struggling again, so annoying. It feels like I'm at like day bloody six. I'm hoping that the next half an hour is better. It doesn't feel like this. Bloody hell. But like I said, that's growth, isn't it? It's like it does that, doesn't it? It's such a blooming straight line. But anyway, I'm hoping the second half will be better than this. Hi guys, I stopped this lady on route because I've seen her run around me, running past me, super duper. So I asked her, I said, oh, how long have you been running for? Tell everyone how long have you been running for? What I've been you? running for about seven years. Um, didn't start until I was 45. Um, I run probably 40, 50 miles a week now. I've been, I went to Poland last year for the European <laughs> Masters Marathon. Yeah. Um, I'm not a runner. I was rubbish at school. <laughs> really? Never thought Same here. Run. I never did the Honestly. cross country. I used to walk the hated, whole thing. Hated Listen, it. Listen, she's just been like zipping past me. <laughs> to the, and I, I said, really oh, And she says, oh, about an hour. Just over an hour. And she looks effortless. And I was like, stop a minute. Oh, <laughs> well, keep it up. Keep it up. Come back at nine o'clock. Yeah. Over, over there in that hut. Every and Saturday. And there'd be about two or three hundred people. No on. way. Honestly, it's so exciting. And that, oh, but Saturday's at ten o'clock. I'll do that. I'll do that. <laughs> Did you hear that guys? Started at 45. <gasps> Hi guys. It didn't get much better. <laughs> but it was really nice speaking to that lady there. She was like, keep at it, keep at it, soon you'll stop counting the days. And it's true, isn't it? It's like learning to drive and there comes that point where you're not even thinking about it. And it's the same like and I teach people like the public speaking or the rest of it. The communication skills at the diff beginning it's really difficult you're conscious of it and it feels inauthentic and then it comes a point where you just stop thinking about it it becomes second nature and so it's really rewired into your brain but anyway hoping for a better day tomorrow today not so fun strained i think it's because i didn't eat proper i had a cup of green tea so i'm going to start experimenting with some of these energy bars and stuff like that and see how that helps my well, yeah, my stamina and so forth but anyway, not beat myself up, slap on the back, Ingi. Yes,